welcome back to another video with your host rising believing guys i have a bunch of brand new news and leaked content when it comes to p5x or persona the phantom x if you didn't know over in china it's already the 29th and the beta for this game is already going on some people even from other parts of the world have gotten codes for this game and have already started playing it through extra means and whatnot so there's already some leaked information when it comes to this game and i'm going to be bringing that to you guys here in this video we have details about palaces how the microtransaction slash gotcha game type of um, gameplay basically is going to be done with this new demon designs for this game and details about just basically everything else the new supporting cast of characters their personas and whatnot so i will be going all over that and showing you guys that we also have some gameplay i'm going to be showing in this video and also the intro for this game there's already leaked uh the song out there for this game the main song for this however i'm not going to play that because i'll probably get copyrighted but i'm sure it's easy to find online i think it's called i think it's called save your hero or something like that is the new song that is sung by lynn that is going to be in this game so we already have a bunch of information i'm going to be showing that off to you guys here today first things first let's go over that microtransaction system and how the game is going to be worked when it comes to that because I think that's where a lot of people are sort of struggling when it comes to this game and that's what they want to know the most so let's go ahead and jump into the gameplay slash transaction style how it's going to be working when it comes to mobile okay so i'm going to try and throw up as much of the gotcha looking stuff that i can find from different screenshots people have found and put on twitter and whatnot and all over the internet so first things first let's take a look at this screenshot here if you look at the very top right of the screen you can see there already is a certain type of currency that this game is going to have it's not the normal looking money that we see normally when it comes to the persona games it is a different kind of thing so more than likely this game is going to have a real money to currency in the game type of system it looks like i haven't really seen anything that gives me the idea of it being a sort of energy system it looks like you could play as much as you want but you have to use this certain type of currency in order to do what you can for the game if you look at this next screenshot it shows day one of one i assume just the first day of gameplay is what that means there and if you look at the very top right there is a sort of thing when it comes to money it looks like there's a stack of cash there and a time thing so it looks like it's going to be based on time so i guess that's i guess it's kind of an energy system but there is a time thing so 15 out of 15 i'm not sure if that means that you are going to be getting more time by doing these quests if you can see right here it shows that this is some kind of quest you get money for it and you get time for it i'm not 100 percent sure what that means but that, that's something we have there and if we look right here is a thing from twitter that i had seen from killer bonnie so thank you for showing that out there on twitter it says also from the looks of it you can choose what to do during the day from what's available directly from the menu also seems like the grindy thing from this game is going to be fishing and working since you need materials to level up personas it seems that's all i found from uh, beta and everything i guess so that is what we have there we know that we're going to be needing materials and the grindy thing is the daily tasks are going to be things that help us towards our personas and whatnot in leveling up and making them better but that's not all so we know that there is going to be obviously some gotcha type system stuff when it comes to materials making our character better overall but what else do we have here when it comes to the gotcha system because the gotcha system usually has like waifus or something like that you know a lot of times we see that sort of stuff when it comes to the characters but i'm gonna go ahead and throw up a picture right now this is what it looks like to have a card i guess in the game and it, i think that's supposed to be somewhere along the lines of what we're going to be seeing when we're trying to put people within our party so you're going to be seeing these type of cards and it will go into a slot system like you see here where you can see the different characters you have lined up one two three four and it even looks like there's a fifth slot so i don't know if you can have five people in your party or, or what that's supposed to mean exactly but it looks like you're going to be spinning and getting these different things and you know having these cards here this one's makoto it's a five star so i just assume that means that's like the best version of makoto that you can have and you will throw that onto your party and they have different stars on them too you can see at the bottom different stars there however the main character doesn't he also doesn't have his persona in the background because you know like 
typical persona fashion you're gonna be the wild card you can have the different personas that you want there it looks like there's some different items i bet you can upgrade and get different things there it looks like there's also particular skills that the characters are going to be having our little owl dude there has fire one has light one has electricity so maybe that's their focus hopefully that doesn't mean that's their only skills and i think there might be five party members in this game i don't really know I'll be showing more and more stuff on the screen here, like I said, over the different looking characters and whatnot. And also, I'm going to, towards the end, show off all of the brand new cast of characters that we do have. So you can kind of see that. And of course, put up the different things we have for our normal cast of characters that we um, you know, already know and love from base P5. So what we've also found is there's going to be a sort of gotcha system for different colored skins. So... Here's one from Makono where she's kind of wearing this bluish looking armor. You can't really tell a whole lot from that one, but if you keep looking at some of the different ones, you could definitely tell. Here's Haru in a fully white outfit that she's never had before. I can't lie. I, I mean, these look really good. I don't really like gacha games. I think it's, it's kind of cheap and just fought out gambling, but this is pretty sick seeing these alternate colors. We have Panther in purple now, which damn it looks good i think they did a pretty good job when it comes to that ryuji also in the white looks pretty good the characters overall do look nice in this game and that's one of the things i can say about this game it looks like they did a pretty good job at making sure this game look up to par when it comes to persona and and i like that there's also some redesigns for some of the demons weirdly it looks like we have some censoring when it comes to this game not sure why the gotcha game is the one that got censored maybe because they think a younger audience is going to be playing it or because it was developed by a chinese team don't really know maybe they have some you know stricter laws when it comes to nudity and stuff like that i can show you some of those demons and i again i don't know why they, they censored some of it changed the designs flat out just so it can be more censored when it comes to that so that's kind of how it is so we have some newer looking skins for the old characters some of the same returning demons looking different and i assume we're going to be having some new demons so we can have that in the game or personas however you may want to say it so it looks like some of the microtransaction stuff might be some of the in-game gameplay stuff but it's mostly going to be skins and getting five star tier i guess level versions of any of the characters the new ones or the old ones to build your team that seems to be kind of what we got going on here in terms of the gotcha system. Now, I know all the microtransaction stuff isn't fun. I do think it's kind of sad that that is how things are going to be going when it comes to this game. But let's look at something maybe a little more interesting that's not too bad. Let's take a look at the palaces. So we do know some of the designs here when it comes to the palaces, these weird looking thumbnail things. I'm not going to be um, giving away any story details or spoiling who the palaces are for or, you know, any of the story details. Frankly, I don't have any of it, but I just want to preface that before we jump more into this. But we do have some different things here when it comes to these sort of thumbnail looking things. I assume maybe because the phone game, you'll be clicking on the palace, like the icon for it or something like that. I'm not really sure what this art is for, but some of these palaces look really cool. Like this one's a big giant like gothic mansion with a moon in the background little spectral person there on the ground that actually looks pretty dope i can't lie these palaces have honestly looked super cool and this one here looks like a bunch of japanese like i don't know like something from like um you know like kyoto or something like that a bunch of these old school looking japanese buildings with the red looking cherry blossoms and whatever the hell is happening at the top of that so that's another palace there we have this one here which looks to be some kind of technology looking boss that we're going to be having with that sort of palace the next one is this maze which if you've seen interstellar it reminds me a lot of that but i think this is supposed to be mirroring a little bit of like you know like central tokyo's living situation how a lot of times it's like people are living next door to somebody like literally just inches away like walls are just literally paper thin and people are stacked all over the place that kind of seems to be what this one looks like if you look that's actually joker and morgana there so maybe they have a little bit more involvement when it comes to the story of these palaces than we kind of thought uh, again i don't really know for sure 
but it seems to be kind of that way maybe when it comes to discovering the palaces and maybe working through them it'd make more sense for our og characters to be helping the newer characters so that kind of seems to make sense and this last one here which i think is the coolest one is this laboratory with like needles and like i assume this might be some kind of scientist or doctor who's part of this palace or something you can't really tell a lot of the characters are blacked out but this one looks cool as fuck like it's some like hulk shit it looks like someone's gonna be sitting in the chair and they're gonna be pumping them full of like uranium or something like i have no idea this has to be some kind of like mad scientist palace or something i have no clue but it's really cool at least the palaces in terms of their concepts seem pretty dope lastly let's talk about the brand new cast of characters the supporting cast that we're going to be having for this game i don't know if we have the full game here when it comes to this beta it doesn't seem to be that way the beta from what i understand was about 14 gigabytes for those that were able to download it but you had to have a chinese license and a chinese um i guess code to get into the game so it was kind of difficult for people to do that i know that people are using fake chinese names and fake ids to get into this game please don't do anything illegal to get into this i know a lot of people are doing this even content creators are doing this I do not advise it. I really don't. We'll get over here in America. It's, it's in Chinese anyway, so you're probably not going to be able to read it, but needless to say, we do have some information here to the new cast of characters, and I'll be showing them on screen. So we have Seji, we have Kutone, I think that's how you say, Yukimi is another one there, two girls and a guy here, and we also have their personas underneath them, respectively. So it seems like when it comes to this game, we're going to be having already a party of four and five if you count the little owl dude so we at least know that we have our sort of person who's going to be helping us through the metaverse our little owl dude and three characters who are going to be part of the secondary cast i guess we also have the little bull hair cut girl i guess so we have four actual real life characters like you know humanoid characters and the owl and of course our main character so we at least have six different potential party members that are going to be in this game already by default of course our main character is going to be there but you're gonna have a selection of five characters that already looks like with all of them having their own personas able to go and for what it looked like it looked like there is a slot for a fourth person other than our main character so it looks like this game might be using teams of five from all the gameplay i've seen i don't think they've been doing that but it looked like there was a slot there maybe that's supposed to be the nav or something like that I don't know we're gonna need still a little bit more information let me know what you think down in the comment section maybe there's something else going on there but i believe that's everything for this video the beta is out things are leaking out i'll be trying to keep you guys updated so subscribe click the bell and like so you can keep yourself notified whenever that comes out and hopefully we'll see some more of this stuff in english or potentially maybe even a release date in japanese or something like that soon so let's hope and pray we get some more details about this game and let's hope it's not super microtransaction-y and hard to play through. That's kind of what I worry about. We at least know now more about the microtransaction system. It is based on a party system. Potentially there might be some time stuff there. I don't really think it's locked behind time. From what I've seen it doesn't really seem that way. It just seems like the new personas you have making your team bigger and better is going to be um, through microtransaction and of course getting those alternative skins seems like it's going to be that way and what you do during the day is going to affect you being able to upgrade your personas and get new ones so maybe that's the easy way you just keep grinding when it comes to the fishing and the daily life stuff and then using that to upgrade your personas and have better personas or you might be able to take an easier way using real money to get better stuff like the five tar, you know, star characters and getting the better personas. I don't know if the personas are starred yet. If not, it's probably just a simple thing like P5 where you're going to be just leveling them up naturally. However, I assume just about every angle of this game is also going to have something where you can just spend some money and get the better versions of whatever you want. So that kind of seems to be how it is here. Like I said, until we really get our hands on it, we don't know how bad it's going to be so 
We just have to kind of wait and see. Hopefully we'll hear some more things down the pipeline. I don't think this thing is even dubbed in Japanese yet, so for it to be in English or even having it come to the rest of the world is, who knows? We don't really know by now, but this is a long video. Hopefully this helps you a little bit more when it comes to this game. Like I said, I will keep you guys informed. That's going to be this video. Thank you all so much for watching.